when I was doing this project, I wasn't too sure whether I want to present on a hackware because it's actually very raw, right? As you can see, it's still uh, PVC pipes and here and, and some plastic bottles here and there. Uh, but nevertheless, I will just share a bit about some of the projects uh, that me and my team have been working on. It's called uh, Atlantis, is the name of the, of the big project. And part of Atlantis, we are hacking essentially two things, floating gardens and riverboards, right? Uh, and so we are a team of engineer scientists uh, striving to restore rivers using unmanned surface cleaning robots over here and biotreatment floating gardens over here, right? So uh, what keeps us awake other than uh, social media and coffee, right? Uh, so it's, it's actually one video which was passed to me uh, by a friend. Uh, and I was actually very, very shocked and terrified that uh, it's this bad, right? I've been to Indonesia, I've been to like other parts of uh, ASEAN, but when I saw this, uh, to me, it was a bit too much. Yeah, and when I saw that, I felt that, you know, I, like, I, I want to figure out what to do with it. And this is one of the things that I discovered that, you know, as we urbanize very fast, uh, industries, uh, they race, right, to meet the needs of, like, textiles, uh, our goods and services, and some of them actually pollute our air, uh, land, and even waters, uh, sometimes illegally. Yeah, and so rivers and waterways have become a convenient dumping ground, as you can see lah, in this photo. So these folks uh, used to be fishermen, right? And what happens in this particular river called the Chitarum River, uh, it was, uh, a, there, there was a documentary by not just China News Asia, even Al Jazeera, uh, and this was what they showcased. Right, so previously these were fishermen and instead of collecting fish, now they are collecting trash, right? plastic trash. Right? And over here, actually you can't see the colour, uh, over here it's actually red in colour. And the rice fields right, that actually uh, grow in the Chitarum region uh, fits, if I'm not wrong, 20% of Indonesia. So basically the rice that you grow from here uh, with all the compounds, uh, the toxic compounds that gets absorbed, uh, gets exported to different parts of Indonesia. And a French scientist recently did a study and analyzed the particular rice uh, that consuming it in a certain, um, uh, to a certain amount, to a certain level, uh, it will actually affect the mental development of a particular child. Right? So that is a, that is a thing that we, we also learned. Right? So, there's, so how are we going to solve this? So the, based on our research, we discovered that you can solve it in two ways. So you have the chemical compounds in the, in the river. So we're going to use nature, we're going to use floating gardens, right? Uh, because there are certain plants that like to absorb uh, these kind of toxic uh, compounds, right? Uh, and then we also use robots, right? So basically, we want to use unmanned uh, water vehicles to collect uh, waste. Yeah, so this, so four of us, we came together, so uh, different, uh, we didn't, we didn't manage to be CMIO, right? Uh, but apparently, yeah, it, it kind of like uh, ended up like that, right? And uh, we have people from like, who does drones, so Amir over there does drones, and then uh, there's uh, Rishi over there who used to be in URA, right, and then decided to leave the industry, uh, not industry, the government service, uh, to be part of the group, and then there's Eugene, right, who's currently now at General Assembly uh, to find more talents <laughs> for the team, and that's me here, also finding more talents and getting help, right. Yeah, so that's four of us, right, uh, yeah, we focus on different things. Yeah, so when we come to Atlantis, it's an ecosystem because it's a very big problem. Uh, we feel that it needs to be working in an in a integrated manner. So we have a core board or a river board over here uh, to, be, to handle the plastic waste. And then we have some idea, la, like maybe we can make it fun. We make it into like a mobile app game, right, where people can actually steer this thing and then you help clean the trash also. La. Yeah. And then there's a uh, third one is basically our uh, floating garden system. Uh, to put all the plants that can absorb uh, these uh, chemicals. So these plants usually like to grow on the banks of the plants. But what if you can float it, you can actually have the whole river as your surface to absorb these chemicals. Right? And last but not least, how do they communicate with each other? We create something called the river net. Yeah. So, yeah, so the science is, is basically this, right? So there are certain plants that really like lead, some plants will really like mercury, some plants that really like copper, and they will absorb it into their plants and they will grow very healthily. Right, so these are different kind of plants, and it's, if you see over here the cattail, right, right, the Typha dominicensis, right, they they like to suck it through their roots, yeah. So they like, yeah, yeah. So this was our experiments, and what we did was uh, we very raw, la, So we just get water bottles like this, and then we just put them together in a nice square, and then we wrap it with some like uh, interesting like geotextile or certain materials, and then uh, we let it float, 
Yeah, so we, and then we start to put some soil, and then over here you can see us putting some plants. And recently, because the weather has been very dry, so some of the farmers kind of like passed us some of their dried vegetables and put it on the chinampa, and a few days later, it actually grows pretty well. <laughs> yeah, so that was one. Uh, and if this simple solution, we were quite surprised that we were given the International Gold Award in Taipei uh, in 2017. Yeah, uh, but I felt that I think we can go smarter, lah, right? Beyond just the this floating thing, we felt that maybe we can put some IoT. So that's what we did. So we got some uh, particle argon, right? So this is basically the uh, it's a bit like Arduino for those who are a bit more familiar with embedded system microcontrollers. And then we got uh, some sensors, lah. So there's pH sensor, turbidity sensor, temperature sensor. And where can we get this? We get this from 12 gigs. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and, 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 so, so, so I don't know, so some, so I have problems getting my code to run, right? So sometimes I thought I just can copy paste from Arduino directly. No, it doesn't work like that, because some, some of the syntax needs to be changed, right, for the, for the particle system, and Fuzzly actually make the journey, right, right, to meet me and really guide me through. So not many, not many stores that sell components will sit you and, uh, and really give you advice. Yeah, so I, I WhatsApp him also, you know, I WhatsApp him, he also responded, yeah. So that was very helpful. Yeah, so basically, uh, including libraries is something also quite different from Arduino. Uh, so over here, when you play around with this particle.io system, the library is over here. So when you click, this thing will appear. Uh, and basically, for the temperature sensor, we use the one wire library. So we included it, right? And then it, we, we just use the project. Uh, so we use the one wire, uh, dot, uh, sorry, the, the one wire project, right? Yeah, so then basically, this is what we did. We assembled it. So the top part is the assembly for the pH sensor, the code for the pH sensor. The bottom one is for the <coughs> temperature sensor. Yeah, so, so, this, so we see we also make it like waterproof because it's going to be on the river. So we have this thing. So we squeeze as many things into this small uh, device. Yeah, so if I go here, it coincide the MRT, right? Then if the uncle see this, I think he may think there is something else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then especially when they ask my name. Muhammad Ibn Adel. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, how we set up the, how we make it communicate with the web. So we have something called the web hook, right? So that's how Particle uh, communicates with uh, ThingSpeak, which is a dashboard uh, uh, system, right? So we uh, insert the pH value. This is an event name. So basically in the code, right, you need to put this thing called pH value. So the moment the, uh, when it prints out pH value, ThingSpeak uh, will actually capture that as an event. So when you capture the event, right, so there's the API key, you have to in include everything. After you set it up, everything. <gasps> Uh-oh, okay, I'll change it. Okay, <laughs> then, okay then what happens is you're going to put, uh, uh, you'll get the, the different dashboards yeah, over here, temperature and, and uh, what do you call this, the pH sensor. Yeah, so you can see over here, right, so this, this, this exactly what it's reading now. So now we know the temperature is around 21.7 degrees Celsius, right? Uh, and then over here, uh, yeah, so basically what we are hacking at a place called Grown Up Initiative and Guild, and basically uh, it's an eco village. Lah. So this is us working hard. And then the next part is actually the robot part, which uh, Amir will cover. Hi, I'm Amir. Um, I've been this for a while. Uh, basically, you can see the... Oh, okay, there you go. So you can see that the robot uh, is made from raw products uh, already uh, out in the market anywhere. You can buy it from a shop, DIY. So we use some of the PVC pipes uh, to make the skeleton of the thing, just to get a rough one. Uh, we get baskets from Daiso. So the idea of it is to have a conveyor belt. Uh, and then this thing will go on water surface. And then it will collect some stuff so the conveyor belt will have a turnaround. Um, we, we have a video of it, but um, we'll, we'll show later. So uh, how we used it is we used stepper motors um, right on top over here and then we used um, like the toy tracks from the tank uh, and then it will turn around so it works beautifully for the first time. Uh, we, we were looking into uh, making it better. Um, second is the flotation part. We use plastic bottles to make it float and we used toy boats at the back uh, just to make it propel. So we hacked into the two toy boats um, and to use the motors and also the waterproofing, which is one of the hard parts in making the, um, uh, to secure the motor and not letting water go in. 
Um, so how we used it was uh, there's two motors on each boat. Uh, we opened it, broke it up, just took the motors that were inside over here. And then uh, we got a motor driver to run the two motors. And voila, we, we get the left and the right motors. So if you want to turn left, you turn the right motor. And then you want to turn left, and you turn right, you turn the left motor on. And we used the Raspberry Pi microcontroller because it has the Wi-Fi, um, uh, yeah, the Wi-Fi stuff on it. And then we can control using SSH. So um, we use a personal hotspot just for it. Um, and then we use SSH to type in um, some lines of codes. But uh, Rishi over here, he made a simple GUI. And uh, because the end goal of it is we're trying to make an app. So we're just uh, experimenting with some simple GUI. And uh, Rishi, you want to try something from your phone? Sorry? Yeah. All right. No, it will damage the table. Okay. So the idea is to like have remote control capability, but have it turn around. So, so he's using it from his phone uh, to control it, to move left and right. Okay. Yep. Okay. This is the video that we did. Uh, this was prior to um, the GUI that we made. And then uh, we just used lines of quotes. And then this is actually, we tried it at uh, GUI. Uh, we, we got a space. And then we tried to simulate some uh, picking up from rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and it works for now. Um, it can collect all the, the, the weed uh, or the seaweed on top. So maybe you could use it as like a moss cleaning from the river. Or something. So moving forward, we have the GUI from Rishi. Uh, we we want to make a game. Uh, we don't we don't really uh, have much experience. We're looking into it, and um, we have uh, we we're, we're open to recommendations. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, if anyone has any recommend, oh okay, well, you can talk to us after this.